Hello curls, it's Yolanda Renee and today we are going to be doing a simple twist out. That's all I really rock, but I'm going to show you how I put it in my signature puff bang style. And of course we're going to be using Alakay Naturals um, products. I'm going to be using the lemongrass leave-in as well as their shea yogurt moisturizer. So first you want to take a small, I would say a medium section actually, take a medium section and I apply the leave-in conditioner to the ends of my hair. Um, that is the oldest hair and that's usually the portion I want to be really curly. So next I'm going to take the Shea Yogurt Moisturizer. Here's a tip for you guys when you use this product, you only need a very small amount and you just need to melt it into your hand just like you would do any other, um, or not any other, but like an oil because this Shea Butter actually melts into like an oil. So apply that to the ends of your hair and then you can do the praying hands method to get it on the length of your hair as well. But basically I want my hair to be um, damp on the ends so I can get some extra curl. And then the root area, I want the product there but I'm not really worried about the definition. Here I'm doing a hanging bantu knot. Um, I've been doing this technique for a long time. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to show you how I do one more section really quickly, but it's basically very repetitive. Um, I say I would have, I have about 12 to 15 twists in my hair and the hanging bantu knots. Again, this will give you the curliest ends you will, you have ever seen. Like you will have no issues with the ends of your hair. And I like to say I came up with this technique because I did this way in 2012 and made up the name. Um, so I'm very proud of that. But anyway, this is like maybe an hour or two later. Um, again, our hair was product damp, so it doesn't take that long for it to dry. Um, but definitely make sure it's dry if you want to use a bonnet dryer or if you want to use a handheld dryer or just wait until the next day to take them out. But you definitely want your hair to be completely dry because that's the worst when your hair is not completely dry and then you get a big frizzy mess. So really pay attention um, to see if your hair is dry, even if you have to take one down to check. Um, but anyway, back to the style. As you can see, I separated my bang um, because I want to leave that alone until I'm finished my puff. So I'm taking down each twist very gently. I didn't have to add oil onto my hair at all. The Shea Yogurt Moisturizer does the trick. It has so much shine and it's easy to take down. So as you can see, most people, if they took their hair down and saw it like this, you would be like, oh my God, I have a TWA. My hair sucks. It broke off. It's a disaster. Calm down. <laughs> you still need to do some work. So we're going to separate each um, section like two to three times. This is going to make your hair come to life because it's not going to look like you don't have any hair. You're actually fluffing it more um, and it's making more curls. So you're basically multiplying it. And as you can see, this one ended up being really frizzy. Um, here's a trick. If it happens, you just need to twirl it around your finger a few times um, and it will tame back down. So don't worry about the frizzies. Next, we're going to get an Afro pick. And we're going to fluff our roots because still this style is not up to par, okay? <laughs> so we need to fluff the roots so we can make our hair bigger. Um, this is my biggest tip when doing a puff is you have to fluff for your life as if you're about to wear an afro. Um, because the more you fluff, the bigger your puff is going to be. So I use a goodie headband because it's bigger. Um, this is another trick to make your puff appear larger. If you use a goodie hairband, it's going to make it smaller. So using a headband, um, actually you can make it wider basically. Does that make sense? So put it around the perimeter of your hair, your um, hairline, and then you're going to slide it up really slow until it's the width that you want it to be. Again, why, the wider the width, the bigger the puff, okay? So if you use the goodie hairband, those are very small, so it wouldn't be as wide, so your puff would appear smaller. Does that make sense? <laughs> so once your hair is in a puff, you do want to do your fluffing and picking of the roots again. And I like to make the center of my puff um, taller, and then the sides I'll pack it in a little bit because that also makes it appear taller. 
All right, now that our puff is done, we're going to go ahead and do basically the same exact, um, exact steps for our bang. Be very caref careful with your bang because, again, this is sort of like the ends of the puff. This is your bang, and you want that definition to really pop. So you don't want to overdo it because if you make it frizzy, it's going to kind of mess up the whole style. So remember, your bang needs to be very defined. The ends of your puff need to be very defined. And then the roots can be crazy because that's going to give you some volume some body and that big puff that we're trying to achieve so as you can see I'm just shaping it um, you know making sure that the curls are placed where I want them to be and this is basically it this is the style and I love it this is my signature style I used to be really embarrassed that I always put my hair in a puff but this is just how I like my hair now it's time for my outfit of the day. I'm headed to the Allocate Naturals meetup in Brooklyn. Hopefully I will see you guys there. But I did want to show you guys my outfit. If you saw my latest vlog, you went shopping with me and you saw the coat and the shoes I got. But here are some other pieces that I picked up. These are some rose gold bangles and the rose gold earrings, both from Charlotte Russe Costume Jewelry, but it does the trick. And I decided to get those because as you guys know, my shoes actually have a rose gold heel. Um, and this is the star of the show, this amazing, huge, fluffy, fuzzy coat from Express. My jeans are from um, Fashion Nova. And here are the booties. Aren't they so cute? I really love this blue and this wine color paired together. It is amazing. And again, like I said, the jeans are from Fashion Nova. Some distressed denim and a plain um, white tank top that I picked up from Target a while back. Um, you can't hardly see the heel, but yes, the heel on these shoes are rose gold and they are so bomb. But anyway, that's it for this hair and outfit of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Mwah.